Where'd I wake you at? Right over there. I didn't see you. Up here. There's no sense I didn't see him. <sighs> okay. Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's Fishing with Calvin, and welcome back. To another fishing video and today today we're doing my first tournament vlog of the season can't believe it's my first one i've been to two tournaments this year but the first one didn't work out uh just i caught three fish and it was just i don't know it wasn't even worth showing to you guys so i just scrapped it and now we'll go uh, a couple tournaments later so anyway today's video is about my day at bone creek a lake i've done i've done decent at i haven't haven't done super well. So for this tournament, I drew John Boyd as my partner. He knows the lake really well. And so I was excited to draw him. And so first thing in the morning, we start heading right across the lake to a cove that's just got tons of timber in it. As soon as I see that timber, I just start flipping that black and chartreuse worm in there. But yeah, I chucked the worm around for quite a bit. John and I even threw a little bit of top water. I threw the, I threw the popper and he threw the buzz bait and we just couldn't get bit. So here you see me throwing it like on top of the grass. It was some super thick grass. So I wasn't sure, I wasn't sure if they're gonna be hiding in it, but I thought I might as well try it. And then I also threw the swim jig, uh, the paddle tail fluke, and threw it on the edge of it, threw it around the middle of the grass, everything, couldn't get a bite. And so I wanna say we spent like 45 minutes in this cove and John decided that's long enough, so. We decided to book it out of there and hit another cove, like, just right down the way. So, here's what happened. A big old grass flat here and then timber on this edge. Okay. And we're in 13 feet of water. So. They bass fishing? Yeah. Got a nice one on that flat. We're on. Nah, I think I got him. That's a nice one. A couple of them. I'm more sure of them. Oh, shit. Thanks, man. <laughs> this board's right here. Okay. I need to get the net out. <laughs> It'll be 15 or 16. He spit my hook, he threw my worm somewhere. Is he down deep? Yeah, it was at the bottom. Like in the middle of these two trees. Oh, I just 
just had one. What's that? Just had one. Did you? Yeah. Right there. Yeah, I got him. Yeah. Got him. Black might be the color. Yeah. You said my first one was 16 and a half? Yeah. Okay. I just wrote it. It has to be bigger than that, Don. Yeah, that's all there is. It's all fun, Sorry about that. Are you good? Yeah, this ain't it. Well, I want to say we're two hours into the tournament, and as you guys can see, this spot produced. I mean, not a whole lot, but enough to get an idea of what we should be doing and what we shouldn't be doing. So, got these two decent bites, one 16 and a half and a 14 and a half. I mean, they're decent fish. It's already looking like this tournament's gonna be a grind. We're gonna have to get six bites and hopefully capitalize on five of them and hopefully get a ticker or two in there. While we're in this cove though, I'm not sure if I'm gonna show it, but we did run into Pat and Dawn and Pat said he caught like not caught, but got five bites on the frog, which is crazy. And they were doing something completely different. They were throwing up in the grass, right on the edge of the cove. There was tons of grass, like, coming out, like, say, like, 10, 15 yards off the bank. And so, I guess the fish were just hiding in that grass. And Pat said he caught a few, but he also, but he also missed a bunch. So right now, I think we're, we're either tied with them are a little bit behind so either way though john and i figured that's probably not good enough so we need to find a new spot and so we decided to book it way down the lake into a creek i think that's what it was i think it was a creek and when we first pull up to this spot i'm, I'm like chomping at the bit to get my first cast in because this spot it's got rock it's got grass it's got timber and it was deep like right off the bank it was a steep drop off like i think we're fishing in 10 to 12 feet right here and so yeah i'll start by throwing the worm trying to pick everything apart yeah looks good though it's a nice it's a really nice A different kind of grass too. Oh, there's a bite. So then I start throwing something I haven't thrown all day, which is a, a Chinese Cinco type deal. It's, it falls exactly like a Cinco. And if you guys have seen some of my older videos, you guys have probably seen it, throw it out. And depending on how deep it is, I let it sink down like halfway to the bottom or to the bottom. And then I just start twitching it like a jerk bait, but like super slow pauses. You gotta, cause once you pop that thing, it'll start coming up in the water column and so you just gotta let it sit back down and pop it again and so yeah here's what i caught throwing it i just had a bite yeah, yeah. might be a little bluegill i say it might be a little bluegill So yeah, not the right species, but it's cool to catch another fish. And so eventually we run out of that steep bank. And so we start moving to the middle of the cove or the middle of the creek and start fishing the timber in it. And I go back to flipping the worm. Yeah, I'm on. 
Some of them. Pretty sure. in the morning. <laughs> That's a nice fish. Yeah. Dead bird? Oh no, this year's a little warm again. Look at all them black plastic bastards. <laughs> you don't have any of those. You want one? Yeah. Yep, yeah, well, I guess. The only thing we're getting bit on. In that tree? Uh, yeah. On the edge of it. <laughs> we may be using the black ones and using my dye to, to dye them. Uh, yeah. Oh, these are real little ones too, isn't it? Seven inches. It's five or best, best ten? Five. Best five. That's all that counts. It doesn't matter who catches them. I can say that because I'm not catching them. <laughs> I've been jinxed this year. This water, you know, pretty clear. Yeah. I must think it's a uh, bluegill. Maybe. I think the depth helps too. What's that? I said I think the depth helps too. Yeah. With how deep it is. Oh yeah, there's always fish here. Yeah. If we can catch one or two more, we'll we'll come up and down this channel a few times. Sounds good. What that? You missed one over there too, huh? No, I didn't. You did it? Uh. No, I'm not getting bit. I just one to give me one fucking worm. I just had a bite. Did you? Yeah. out there where the wind is. Yeah, for sure. Hey, it's still a super slow day, but we got two more in the boat. That's what matters. First one, super nice fish, 18 incher. And our other fish catch, John actually caught, but I didn't get it on video because my camera died like just like a couple minutes before he caught it. And so yeah, that was unfortunate. But right now it's about 10 o'clock and almost we're almost halfway into the tournament. All we need to do is catch one more fish for a limit and hopefully two more to cool the small ones. And I feel like we got a good shot. And so right now we're on pace, but we gotta, we gotta keep up. The day is just gonna get slower and slower. So after we get done fishing the creek, we decide to go back up the lake, fish a couple tree rows. And then on our way back to the second cove of the day, we ended up hitting this grass flat. And I catch a super, super random fish Right in the middle of the grass. Okay. Kind of drift it and drag.
right guys so before we get further into the video i just want to say one thing because i didn't really address it when i was talking to you guys in the talking part of the video uh, i don't know why but yeah so honestly i think jr was joking more than anything uh that's just that's who he is he's a competitive person i don't want you guys to think that i'm posting this because i'm mad at jr i honestly wouldn't have posted it if it wasn't for two things one me catching a fish and two, I'm sure you guys like watching this stuff. I just wanted to say that there's no hard feelings between me and JR. And I don't think there's any hard feelings between John and JR. Yeah, that's really all I wanted to say. So I'll let you guys get back to the video. The only bad thing though was I didn't know where I I didn't know where I caught him. I threw out in the middle of the grass, popped it a few times, and I was looking at JR and Bobby in the distance, and all of a sudden I feel my line start getting tight, set the hook. And I was like 10% sure that I had a fish. I was thinking I let the, the bait sit too long in the grass. And so I thought I got like a bunch of grass. And fortunately it was a fish. So I actually brought one of these baits down to show you guys. Because I don't usually I don't usually fish these. I just got put onto these by my boy B. But it's not your typical fluke. For some reason this one's all crooked. But yeah, that's what it looks like. I just throw this weightless with the extra wide gap hook. So yeah, that's the bait. I'm gonna start throwing a lot more, especially when the fish are up shallow. Yeah, so we didn't really stick to that grass pattern though. We actually go back to the second cove of the day and we start fishing there again. The bad thing is I don't know where I caught him at. I don't know if he's at the edge or in the middle of the grass or what. Yeah, well, we don't have a lot of this flat left. Yeah. Well, there's our limit. Yeah. Be nice if we, if we could replace those two small ones. We might be in it. Yeah, that'd be nice. Fish right there. Okay. It's a little fish, a little, oh. little bass. He was following it. I took it out of the water. He was swimming back down. Yeah. Dropped it back down there. He bit it again. <laughs> that little one that I just caught really wanted it. Ah. Oh, hammered. Oh shoot! <laughs> Something's chasing the shad over here. Yeah. And I got. Yeah. So here you guys see us getting a lot more action and by action I mean a lot more little fish, but I don't know where the big fish went, but there were there were some fish chasing shad right behind us and on the graph I was seeing tons of bait and like some bigger fish right below them, so I don't know if they're bass, walleye catfish whatever and so that's why you guys see me throwing the paddle tail again just letting it sink down to the bottom and twitching a few times but couldn't get any bites doing that and so we decided to take a chance and hit the dam yeah, we're on. yeah you called it <laughs> i can't even get a fucking bluegill bite <laughs> But fortunately, I didn't catch anything but a bluegill. I mean, the dam looked really promising, but it just, I think it gets pressured so much that, I don't know, I feel like that's why we couldn't catch anything. We're getting towards the end of the day. And so last spot we decided to hit is back in the creek for one last time. Huh? 
Come on. Spit up a shad though, or a bluegill. little it might help At least we finished our limit. We were able to cool our smallest one. So for our limit, we had a 16 and a half, a 14 and a half, an 18, a 16 and a quarter, and a 13 and a quarter. And so it's a pretty small limit. And fortunately, <laughs> we just came in last. We just couldn't look into any big ones. John had a rough day as well. We were literally in like reverse positions last year. Uh, we had a tournament out at Wilson, and John was just slaying like three and four pounders. Like, I don't know how many he caught, but he caught a ton. And I don't think I caught a fish all day. It was, it was rough, but those days definitely happen. I'll say if I had to refish the tournament, I would definitely take off the Chinese Cinco. Especially after we spent some time fishing shallow. Then I should have just took it off, snipped it, and started throwing the Ned Rig. And just have another option for flipping in the trees. And then the second thing I'd do is I'd probably tie on a, like a wacky rig Cinco, a weighted wacky rig, and just see if I could get on a different worm bite. We fished probably every one of those trees in that creek like two or three times. And so maybe on that third time, I probably could tie it on a different worm, see if I get some uh, different reactions. But I think Don was throwing a wacky rig Cinco. I'm almost positive. And I'm pretty sure him and Pat ended up playing the whole tournament. So, hey, it's all good though. One up for next time. Really hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, give it a like. And subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.